I just got access to the Raycast beta version for Windows. Beta? Beta? Anyway, I was very excited for this tool because Raycast is very powerful tool in macOS and now it's available for Windows. If you don't know, Raycast is an app launcher that can do a lot more than launching an app. It can search your files, manage your clipboards, calculate and a lot more. So let's dive in and see what's available in this beta version. Oh, looks like a lot. So alongside the app launcher and file search, we also get a calculator, emoji picker, clipboard history, snippets, quick links and okay, okay let's just continue. Ready to flow. Alt space. Oh, we are in. Okay, okay. I just want to try this. Confetti. Uh, didn't work. Let's make sure the spelling is correct. Confetti. Oh, maybe they didn't add this feature. They're supposed to be party popper. Never mind. Look at that. There are so many options. Okay, let's start by searching my channel logo. It's on my desktop. I hope it finds it. Hmm, doesn't seem like it can find it. Let's see in the settings. Let's change the layout to compact. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe I need to add the path. Okay, so here's the path. Now it should be able to find it. Hmm. Maybe there's a bug or something, it's just unable to find any files. Well, it is able to locate the folders fine, but it can't find any files. Okay, now it finds it, but yeah, it's a beta version, so there will be bugs. Okay, let's check out this emoji picker. Seems a lot better than Windows default one. Okay, clipboard history. That seems very handy to have, but I wonder if there is a limit how much it can store. If we check the settings, we can keep all the history up to 3 months. That seems enough. But the current tool I am using has unlimited storage. So I can store as many clipboard history as I want and as long as I want. But I am not sure if Raycast 1 has unlimited. Probably not. Okay, let's try the calculator. I'm very excited for that. So the current tool I'm using, Listry, it can find files and launch app very quickly. It's very lightweight and very efficient, but it can also do basic calculation. But when it comes to a little complex calculation, like percentage, it just gives me nothing. And now if I copy this and paste it in Raycast, it does the calculation perfectly. Also, if I put my completely real height in feet and convert it to centimeter, it converts. And I'm pretty sure it can also convert currencies as well. US dollar to euro. Oh, that's very handy. No doubt this calculator is my favorite feature in Raycast. I'm gonna use it a lot. Okay, what is snippets? I think it's a shorter version of a long text. So I can like put my address, type a short keyword to paste my address. Hmm, so just like a clipboard but with keywords. And I think quick links are also similar. If I put my channel link, and name it my channel save it now if i search my channel it should open my channel okay i messed up the link but you got the idea it would be very handy for the website i visit very frequently and i think that's about it oh wait a minute if i type store it should have extension store yes there's a lot of extensions and some of them i don't think would work because these are mac os extensions but let's try this Google Translator. Now if I type anything in Japanese, then it should translate to English. Okay, it takes a little bit time, but yeah, it's translated properly. Now let's try this YouTube extension. Asking for an API key. Okay, wait a minute. How to get YouTube API key? Found it. Let's paste it. Now let's search for my channel. Oh, did I hit 4K? Let's check. Oh uh, no. It only shows roundup numbers, but I'm very close to 4K, so hit subscribe. And I think that's about it. So the whole Raycast experience on Windows was, was pretty good, I would say. I'm not going to start using right away because it has some bugs and the file search still doesn't work properly. But I look forward to the future updates.